an LRP. Yeah, yeah, it was an LRP. All right, we're down here. Uh, this is about the kits the uh, for the older older vans. I know I said in the last video that we were uh, going to try to get a kit made for the older Chevrolet vans because we've been getting so many calls and so many messages and emails about it. So it was time to start taking that serious. So we, uh, I had thought that we might could maybe uh, use the jig this that we've got here of the newer vans and maybe make some tweaks and stuff where we could make both kits off of it. And uh, we were able, Seth is, uh, he's actually become a good friend of ours, Nathan Arizona, the real Nathan Arizona. <laughs> he uh, allowed us to let us come over to his shop today and take a look at his van. He's restoring a 76 shorty that uh, we wanted to get a close look and take some measurements on it to possibly make the kit for the older van. And unfortunately, when we got there and we got to looking and measuring and look at it, we just, we're not going to be able to do it with this jig. And uh, we've got a lot of people that call and say, well, you know, they're exactly the same. They made them the same from 70, was it 70 or 71, yeah. all the way to 95 and some 96s. Well, they did when you just look at them. They are, they're, they're the same. But when you get under it and see exactly how they're made, they're not the same. So... I'm just going to show you the reason why we can't do it right now. We're still going to try to do it, but we, we've already got a plate cut. This is one of our plates we're cut. We're in the middle of making a kit now. This is the plate the, that we make when we, uh, that we bolt to the front and start making the spring hangers and all that too. But only, this is an 87 uh, frame from an 87 van and from 84 to 95 and some some 96s are just like this. Uh, I have heard some people said some late 83s were like this too. I don't know, I can't confirm that or not, uh, I don't know. But this, this spacing right here on uh, these vans, center to center is about 31 and a half inches. Uh, on the older vans, the, these frame horn rails right here, they're unibody or unitized but these frame horns are out at 37 inches. So the way we make our plate, we can't mount the spring hangers the same way we do these. The front of those on the bumper part of the early ones are, is a lot narrower than this. So we couldn't use this plate anyway because it's a lot narrower. And it's also, it's not flush. It's not flat around here. You know, on the middle of those older vans, it, it breaks and it kind of does a V. So... There's no way we can use this to make those kits off of. And not only that, on, on this side, this is the, actually the driver's side. This is where the steering box mounts over here and it, it mounts straight up and down. Well, when that thing is mounted straight up and down with the pitman arm going this way, it, it lines up perfect with the way we do the crossover steering. The steering box on the older ones is here at an angle mounted like this instead of like this. Well, that, that completely changes the way the steering is done, which is not a problem. We could work it out. This side over here is also how this is flat. It's not, it don't have a flat place on this side and that doesn't seem like a big deal, but when we make the kit, we've got a well, front plate here. We utilize those factory holes to, to bolt this too on that kit. So we couldn't do that on this jig for the older model. So what I'm getting at, long story short, we are still gonna try to figure out a way to make a kit for the older models, but what we're gonna have to do, it looks like, is find an older van that we can cut up and make a jig out of. 
And um, I, I don't know how easy that'll be if somebody's got an old rusty junk van that they would want to donate that we could cut up and, and try. We would be happy to do it. But uh, that being said, we're, we're, we're not going to stop trying to make the kits for the old ones, but that's why when people ask, well, why can't you do it? They're the same thing. That That's why we can't do it. So we're working on that. But another thing that we are going to do that we can, I'm pretty sure we can use this jig for. When we make our kits, we've made all our kits to work with a with um, Chevrolet GM, like mid 80 square body differentials. With the differentials, the front differential under a square body, the spring pads on the axle measure 31 and a half to 32 inches center to center. So when we make our kit, that's what it's made for. At 31, we make ours at 31 and three quarter just to hit, because I've seen just variations over the years, anywhere from 31 and a half to 32. Um, we've had a lot of people that are wanting kits that want to use forward axles, which I, I understand that because they are a lot more plentiful. Um, th there's a lot more options that you can get, but on the forward axles, their spring space pad spacing is spring pad spacing is 37 <laughs> inches. Unless you go, I think 78 and back, the old Ford stuff is at 31 and a half that you can do. But Ford stuff is 37 inch uh, spring uh, spring spacing. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. 37 inches. And their driver side drop for your front differential. All the GM stuff that we use is passenger side drop, which that doesn't make any difference. But the thing about using the Ford stuff being passenger side drop, you've got a lot more options on transfer cases too because there's a lot more transfer cases out there that are driver side drops. So we're gonna try to make a way that we can uh, do a kit that's gonna measure at 37 inches instead of 31 and a half. So the way we do our kits, you can go on our website. We've got a submission form that you fill out. You go in there and fill out all the information with your phone number and I can give you a call and find out exactly what you've got uh, what you're going to do and, and guide you as far as what to uh, look for as far as parts. But for the people that are wanting to use Ford axles at 37 inches, we're trying, we're going to try to make this work. What we're going to have to do is make another, we've got this jig here that simulates the leaf springs, which they're at 30, 31 and three quarters. So we're going to have to make another one of these at 37 inches. And what that'll do is that'll get the spring pads out here and the way these go, this is the way we make our spring hangers at the back. What it'll do, it'll move it more probably. It's, well, I know it will probably, instead of being in that much, it's probably gonna sit at about right there. So we're working on that. And that's also, not only is it gonna give you an option to use uh, forward differentials, but you, like I said, transfer cases. If, uh, if you wanted to use in 1988, the Chevrolets went everything driver side drop with the exception of the Blazers, the K5 Blazers and the Suburbans. They made the square bodies up until 91. So that would allow you, if you found a Ford front differential that was driver side drop, you could use an 88 or newer Chevrolet transmission and transfer case and get it on the driver side. So that's one of the things we're working on. Um, also, we've got a lot of new people that have come on and, and went on and, and looked at the page and uh, which is great. We appreciate that. But we've had a lot of people too that uh, they look at the page and then they call or they'll message or email with all these questions. And a lot of the questions that we're getting asked, I'm getting to the point, I don't mind talking to anybody. I'll talk to you as, as, you know, as much time as I have, but it's getting to the point where I don't have the time to talk to you as long as I used to. So I can't answer all your questions of stuff that we've already made videos about. So if you're new to the channel, you wanna know what we do and see some of the stuff, go back and watch some of our old videos because a lot of your questions are probably gonna be answered in some of the videos we made. Some of the stuff is crazy and us being foolish, but a lot of it is is uh, van builds that we've done and you can see the way we do a lot of the stuff on there. So if, uh, if you call me with a lot of questions, I'm not trying to be, you know, a, a butthole or anything, but we just don't have time to spend talking about stuff that we've already done. I mean, you know, we took the time to make the videos, take a little bit of your time to go back and watch them. Yeah, uh, check out, um, <clears throat> there is a playlist dedicated to the kit builds, yep. and there's also a playlist dated to, dedicated to the entire shop builds, everything, so 
All that will be in the link, but also that is uh, in our playlist section on our page. Yeah, so and Seth handles that all that. So he Seth does pretty good as far as putting all the information at the bottom of the um, at the bottom of the videos with all our information. And we've, we're getting a lot of people. We put uh, I put a little Facebook post on about a bunch of the parts that we have, and we do. We've got we've got some parts. You know, I don't know how desirable a lot of them are, but a lot of people are messaging about if we have this do we have that and that's great i appreciate the messaging but for stuff like that send us an email and then that way we can get with you one-on-one -on -one and we can uh talk about what we have and if something will work rather than messaging back and forth on the uh youtube channel but i think that's all we got right now i think that's all we got uh... and as always like share and subscribe thank y'all for what you're doing um I, can't I don't know. I guess old older Chevys in the future. Uh, got a lot of questions on Dodges and a few questions yeah. on Fords. So yeah, we get. I probably get as much people calling as much on old Fords as uh, we do on the older Chevrolets and the Dodges. And we, I know we're gonna do one Ford. Uh, yeah, that's my buddy Brad Cardell, the one that plays uh, music with Seth. He's a bass player. He's got a Ford, and he's like family, so I know we're going to do his Ford. We'll do a Ford for family. We'll do a Ford, but <laughs> I, I don't know how many more we are, because if anybody that knows me knows I am not a Ford guy. Nothing against you guys. I like you. I, I raced against a lot of Fords. I got beat by a lot of Fords. I run a lot of Fords. <laughs> but I don't like working on Fords. So uh, we, uh, we, I know we will do one Ford, but uh, I'll say this, and this is not a plug for them. They don't know us from Adam. As far as I know, they don't even know I exist or we exist at the swim shop. But if I was ever to get a Ford done, and I know they don't do old, old Fords, I would do U-joint. U-joint off-road. Man, they, the, the stuff that they do and the quality of the parts they build is just second to none. I wish we could, we had the ability to build the quality of parts they do. So if you are looking to get a Ford converted, get in touch with U-joint off-road. Uh, I know they don't do the older stuff, but, you know, I don't know. You know, check them out. They, they're cool guys. I learned a, learned a lot about from them. And like I said, they don't even know I exist. We don't, you know, never met them. But just uh, they awesome. do some cool stuff. And, of course, with Ivan being a Mopar man, there's yeah, eventually we're, we're going to be some type of Dodge roll in here We've actually point. got an old Dodge out back that we are probably going to do. We'll probably do an old Dodge, and I, 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 don't, I don't have a problem with Dodge. I like old Dodge. You put a Chevrolet motor in a Dodge, they're good. They're good. <laughs> We got yeah. no problem with that. We got the, uh, of course, the camper van. We'll be doing that. Uh, probably we'll do my van before we do that one. We got transmissions to rebuild on ones we've already done. We just, uh, it's not that we've gotten slack. We just got so much going on. We're just three of us. It, it's hard to get it all done. Sometimes it's it's so overwhelming. You can ask the boys. I just walk around here, down in, cir in circles, trying to figure out what to do because we got so much to do. So, yeah. But yeah. we're gonna try to document it all for you. We got some camping stuff coming up, some more van events coming up. Uh, I think the next video coming out is going to be one of the events we went to on a Saturday, which will be. You will see this after that's already posted. So, anyway. yeah, yeah. But I but think that's all we got on this. I think that's all we got. If we think of something else, uh, follow all our social media uh, at the Swim Shop Four by Four. Check out our merch link in the bottom. And uh, check out the website. Check out the application. Check and out everything. And we're we're trying to get more serious. We've actually one of the bedrooms in the in the house. We are in the process right now. Uh, Michelle and I just last night went and picked up a desk. We're we're making it an office where Olivia and Michelle can get in there and help us help me answer the emails and uh, the kit submissions and get all that. We uh we're at the point now. I've said this over and over. We had no idea how how this was going to take off when we started, what it was going to do, but it, it, it's starting to get to the point where we we really got to take it serious, which is a good thing. That's what we want. So uh, we're, uh, I think we're going to really try to run this thing like a business. Yeah. And uh, as always, <laughs> thanks to everybody who watched. Thanks to everybody who's bought kits. Oh, you, you say. Well, thanks Seth to Seth don't ever get on here much. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who keeps watching and coming back, watching the videos. Y'all are awesome. All the support, the comments are always great. Uh, thanks to everybody who's bought a kit. We stay down here busy all the time. And, of course, all that always puts food on the table and uh, more parts for these vans for us to do. But y'all are awesome. Thank y'all so much. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see yeah, you in the thank next you. And we do. We stay down here. We, we you don't, You're not seeing a lot of the footage of us working because we're, just, we're, still, we're making kits. And I know... 
Y'all don't want to see us just making kits over and over and over, but that that's a lot of the stuff that we're having to do. We got to we got to do it, and uh, but we're going to get a lot more. We got some we got some builds we're getting ready to start doing, so uh, we're gonna if we can afford to do it, we're gonna crank it up. Absolutely, and as always, shout out to OK Recycling. OK Recycling, Seth's got his shirt on. Y'all check them out. Like I said, I say it. I'll say it till I die. If it was not for them, this channel would not even exist. They've helped us out so much and been so good to us. So y'all please check out Oakley. Okay Recycling for any of your uh, electrical. They buy surplus electrical bulk stuff. Just just check them out. Check, check them out. out. All right. I guess we'll see y'all in the next one. Yep.